Welcome back to This Week in Bevy. The release candidate process continues this week, which means more stabilization PRs and small bug fixes this week for the most part. WGPU 23 was also released and is now merged for Bevy 0.15. And in 16.279, animation blending had some blending weight changes to make the blending more reasonable to reason about. This is really well described in the PR, so if you're interested in what it looks like in Bevy 0.15, go take a look. And in the community showcase this week, there's multiple inverse kinematic spiders, the holiday season is starting to rear its head, and a really interesting Vulcan backend for Bevy that I'm hoping to see more of in the future. Something you might have missed, some examples are moving to the test bed, which is really just another folder in the Bevy repo. If you're looking for more than the hundreds of examples already in the examples folder, you can now find some of the more, here's a whole bunch of API usage examples in the test bed. And of course, Alice's merge train is a maintainer level view into active PRs, both those that are merging and those that need work, which are very release candidate focused currently. First off, we've got Decky Drive. This is a rough estimation of a three-cylinder engine crossed with an RC car, procedural track, and a car controller built on Avian. Next up, we've got a voxel landscape. This voxel terrain spans 6,432 voxels in diameter. That is 201 chunks of 32 by 32 by 32. And this runs at 160 FPS on a 3090 in one draw call. And then we've got the first of two inverse kinematic spiders this week. This progress on an inverse kinematic spider running around a set of blocks. The other end of this game involves working on networking, so maybe we'll see multiplayer spiders in the future. And Kessler Syndrome is the beginnings of a small jam-sized tower defense game. Towers are placed into orbit and they fire on invading spaceships. Every time a tower misses a shot or destroys an enemy, more space junk is thrown into orbit, making low orbit more and more dangerous for the towers, hence the name Kessler Syndrome. And it's post-Halloween, so we get some Christmas voxels. These are Christmas-spirited voxels with custom chunk meshing. There's a day-night cycle, and the player model supports existing Minecraft skins. Next up, we've got a longer look at a falling sand engine using Bevy ECS, WGPU, and Rapier 2D. The demo includes a number of rooms, spraying particles, and the character you can see on screen running around. This Bevy user built a 3D graphing calculator on a live stream on YouTube. It uses Bevy Inspector eGUI on the left here for configuration, and then we're moving on to a BioVision Hierarchy viewer. BioVision Hierarchy is a motion capture format, and this viewer was written to make sure the units and other data were correct. And then we've got Crystal Realms. Crystal Realms is a sandbox 2D MMO game that has been in development for about three years. A number of different features have been implemented in that time, including crafting, quests, achievements, and more. The game uses a custom 2D tile map approach. And here are some random trees. Different varieties of point translations and random generation results in some very tree and landscape-like structures. And up next, we've got a Vulcan rendering backend for Bevy. This Vulcan rendering backend for Bevy is a mostly GPU-driven renderer with multi-draw indirect, bindless, and GPU culling. It also supports most of Bevy's standard material, as well as a significant portion of Blender's material system. The materials here are fully dynamic and not defined at compile time. And it also currently uses the Screen 13 crate and supports Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, although only M-series chips via Molten VK. There's a whole lot of great discussion both about this renderer specifically and about Bevy's rendering in general in the Discord thread. So I definitely suggest checking it out if you're interested in rendering internals. As of this posting, the code is currently closed source. Next up, we've got this Game of Life implementation alongside multiple rule sets, not just Conway's Game of Life. You can click to spawn gliders and it's available to play on itch.io. And here's the second inverse kinematic spider we'll see. This is an inverse kinematic spider sandbox with procedural terrain generation and an inverse kinematic driven spider. This is powered by Avian 3D and Bevy Mod inverse kinematics. And that brings us into the crate releases this week. First off, we've got RON Asset Manager, which helps when managing RON based assets, which depend on other assets. It is compatible with Bevy Asset Loader. And if you're unfamiliar with RON files, it looks a little bit like Rust code and is actually a fairly popular format. Next up, we've got Aeronet 0.9. Aeronet is a low level IO layer and network messaging abstraction for Bevy. The 0.9 release completely redesigns the crate to be Bevy native, fully leveraging Bevy ECS and Bevy app. Bevy Entitiles is a 2D tile map plugin that aims to have useful algorithms and other functionality built in. 0.12 brings WASM support. Bevy Audio Controller 0.2 is out. Bevy Audio Controller is an API for managing audio playback in Bevy. It was originally created to solve the problem of hundreds of enemies playing attack sounds at once for the spooky game jam. 
And Bevy Copperfield 0.2 is out. Bevy Copperfield is a procedural modeling crate for Bevy. 0.2 brings automatic UV unwrapping with three modes supported. Cube mapping, sphere mapping, and least squares conformal mapping. And then there's Blua. Blua is an integration crate between the pure Rust Lua implementation Piccolo and Bevy. While Bevy Mod Reaction is a new crate aiming to supply ECS reactivity to your applications. Bevy FMOD got its 0 0.6 release. FMOD itself is an adaptive audio solution for games and Bevy FMOD integrates it with Bevy. 0 0.6 brings Mac OS support and more. Bevy Logic is a crate for defining logic gates and simulating logic graphs. The 0 0.7 release builds on top of the 0 0.6 Bevy Trait Query release, which is about to be mentioned next. And Bevy Trait Query 0 0.6 is out. Bevy Trait Query is a crate for making queries like this work, where you can query for the entities that implement a specific trait. And that's it for this week. As always, we have a full list of all the pull requests that were merged, opened, and issues that also that were opened on the website. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next one.